Sup, people that are subscribed to me and people that are subscribed to BKE. Uh, if you're at BKE, please check out my channel. It should be in the description of this video. And subscribe if you like it. And the people at my channel, I'd like it if you guys could. I, I have an intro on it. Hopefully you notice that. Let me know if you guys like it or not. Um, I'm going to assume most people don't like it but <laughs> because it's like old school hip hop. But um, let me know if you guys do or don't like that. And if you guys could help me out, um, I'm going to start live streaming on Twitch starting next Saturday. And it would be really cool if you guys could go follow me because I don't have any followers, I think, on Twitch right now. So if you guys could help me out with that, that would be really cool. Well, I'm sure it will be a grand old time over there. And I'm going to start like live streaming a lot more because I kind of want to do that a little bit more than make videos right now or do that on the side of making videos. But uh, this is a 30 and 5 gameplay with the Executioner, which is the, the shotgun pistol. Uh, there's a Taurus Judge and a Smith & Wesson Governor that shoots a 410 shotgun. Not sure if that's what this gun's based off of or not. I, I didn't really look into it at all. But um, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, it kind of sucks at long range. Like right there, I didn't even take a shot because I didn't think um, I would just be wasting my ammo pretty much. And this gun's really hard to use like the... Uh, the the, the python from the first black ops because you load the shots in one by one unless you have fast mags so you really need the fast mags to um, be any good with it and a lot of people will tell you if you're going for gold to um, play hardcore but I don't think that's a good idea because a lot of people just camp the shit out of this game in hardcore and that is not a good thing to do if you are using a pistol because you're gonna run around the corner and someone's gonna shoot you in the face with a real gun and that sucks <laughs> but uh yeah this gun's pretty good in close range i found obviously i had a pretty good game with it um uh, i like the camo it's like the art of war the art of war camo i'd like to know what it says if anybody speaks chinese or can read chinese that'd be cool i'm pretty sure it's in chinese i know the art of war is a book written by the general sun tzu like forever ago and um it's a book that like modern day military stuff is tactics are based off of and i read part of it for uh just fun for reading for fun imagine that imagine reading for fun not a lot of people do that anymore but on your ipod on like the ebook things if you have an ipod right there i just got bloodthirsty which is very important because when you're going for gold because you need 10 bloodthirsties and normally that's what you get hung up on at the end but actually, I think this was the easy. I have the second least kills with this pistol, which e means um, I had a pretty easy time getting gold for it. Because, but I thought it would be the worst gun for me to get gold, and I thought it would be a terrible time. But it wasn't too, too bad. But uh, yeah, back to the Art of War thing. You can get that like for free on the ebooks on your iPod, and I read like a decent amount of it, so that's kind of cool that that's there, and it's that easy to access. But yeah, right here I get the best care package ever, that, that's the one that you can't get. And, uh, of course I don't have a black hat because I didn't come prepared. And that, 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 eh, I, that, that could be, never mind, that, that could have been taken kind of dirty, but I stopped myself from referencing it, but then ruined it by saying that there was a reference. I came unprepared with my hat. Uh, I did not, I did not bring the hat I was unprepared, I guess you could say. In a way, I'm, I'm sure you you understand where I'm going with. I'm just gonna stop talking now. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna really stop talking because that would, that would be the end of the commentary and that would probably be bad for me to stop talking. But yeah, I got big things on my channel. This is gonna be pretty much of an update video because I've haven't done one for a while. But I'm gonna I got some really big Battlefield 3 stuff coming up and I'm gonna start uploading PC games. I got a really big PC series coming up that I'm sure a lot of people are really gonna enjoy. And uh, hopefully I can help a lot of people out. I'm going to help people get into PC gaming by uh, showing you things you can do and stuff. I don't want to really give anything away now, but it's going to be really big, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to very much so enjoy it. But, yeah, unfortunately I run really shitty uh, streaks right now. I'm probably too low of a level to get counter UAV, and I'm too low of a level to get LSAT or something else to run with it. So I'm pretty much just threw shit in there so that I wasn't using UAV over and over again. But I, I don't like care packages. I have no idea why I use that because I always get killed when I use them and I never get anything good because if you got things good in a care package, then why would you need to go for big kill streaks? But anyway.
<clears throat> was that professional? No, probably not. But my channel, I don't always post beast gameplays like this one right here. Uh, most of it's pretty casual stuff with my friends. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm about. It's just, you know, a guy having a good time. Another thing you'll notice on my channel is I'm going to start stop putting ads on it until I get partnered by somebody other than YouTube, except for like Minecraft, because I don't want to get a channel strike. I haven't gotten one yet, but I'm kind of worried about it. Or until I get at least written consent from uh, Treyarch, Call of Duty, or Battlefield 3, and EA, which is both very extremely unlikely that that's going to happen, and probably won't. But this gun's pretty good in close range, but you have to, once you get like a feel for the range, it's not that bad. But getting a feel for the range, of course, takes a little bit of time. Because you have to know when to charge in and when, like, when you can start shooting. Because you're going to start shooting, and that was a very good spawn right there. And I get Merciless 10 kill streak. That might be my first Merciless of the game right here. Or of my my career. I don't normally go for long kill streaks. I'm, I'm a pretty team player. I rarely play free, free for all. And it's kind of funny, because if I played free-for-all, my KD would be way better. But then again, if I cared about KD, I probably wouldn't have went for a diamond pistols. Yeah, that, that, that didn't that did not help my KD or win-loss at all. But that is a story for another day. And this is the best, best lightning strike of all time. Zero kills. I'm sure you're all very impressed on how I could screw this up, because this is the pre-patch lightning strike that was very, very OP. And I, I somehow fucked that up. Don't, don't ask me how, because I can't even comprehend how I could fuck that up that bad. But onwards we go with my Art of War Executioner Pistol. I always thought it'd be kind of cool if you could go back in time and, like, it during a war and just give one side a real gun or even, like, just, like, a 1911 and then provide them with unlimited amount of magazines and just that one person, like, if that would it could have, like... What that would have done for the Civil War or the Revolutionary War or any old war like that. I'm just naming American wars because I'm American. And I thought, I think that would be kind of cool to see what, how that would compare. Or even like, I guess that's not a very modern, um, very modern pistol. That's a, a, a over a, a hundred years old, the 1911. But I like it still. But uh, maybe like a Glock or a FMP45, I guess is a pretty modern gun. <laughs> it's in this game. If you didn't know, the... FMP 45 tactical is the uh, TAC 45 um, and stuff. There's actually a really cool video you guys should look up by Hickok 45 of him using the gun with the red dot and a suppressor. And it was before Call of Duty came out, like or Black Ops 2 came out, like probably like two years in advance. And it's the exact same like suppressor. It's like the Osprey suppressor by Silencer Co. And then a red dot. And it's kind of cool because it looks exactly like it does in the game. <laughs> and I thought that was just kind of interesting. I was like, hey, that looks the exact same as it did in that video. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay. And let me know again. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my channel from BKE. Don't forget to like the video. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Enjoy. Peace out.